Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel and a big welcome to my picks from the Chanel Cruise Collection here in the UK, which was released on Friday. Uh, it's now Monday uh, and I got my hands on these pieces on Saturday evening. Uh, I have been dying to see the Cruise Collection in person and uh, particularly get the eye palette ever since I saw the promotional uh, material for it and some videos on YouTube because as always you guys in America um, got it a long time before we did uh, certainly here in the UK and there were quite a few um, products in the photographs and promos that I like the look of but particularly um, the palette so um, it's not the best lighting in the world but I couldn't wait to film this uh, anymore so uh, let's look at the palette I haven't used it on the eyes yet, so this is definitely just a first impressions for those of you who are interested and thinking of going to the counters in the next few weeks. This is Eclat Enigmatique, um, the uh, eyeshadow quad, um, the usual sort of um, packaging box-wise. Let's see if I can get into it without damaging the box um, too much doesn't seem to have the usual, oh yeah, the little paper things inside. So the usual little velour pouch that quickly becomes very dusty and um, covered in lint. And then inside, um, this time there's a little card with it illustrating the looks. Uh, the usual all black and white um, quad packaging. And here we go, here is the inside. Now, immediately I was very attracted to this beautiful iridescent um, gray. There we go, yeah, beautifully pigmented there. As soon as I saw, it's quite dark. Uh, so that's definitely smoky eye territory, but look how, um, smoothly that swatch none no bits of powder um very nice back of the hand application uh which isn't everything it has to be said sometimes things don't look quite on the eyes as they do on the back of the hand um before i go on to swatch the other bits of this uh, the other thing that really attracted me was the uh, kind of impressions this kind of wave impression which immediately reminded me of um, this baby from Chanel, which I love. I've used a lot. This is Ampong de Désert. I don't know if this was last year's summer collection or the year before. Time goes so swiftly. But I I love this uh, quad. I, you know, not, a, well, I am a big fan of um, Chanel quads, but I don't keep that many in my collection. But this one I've used a lot. And you can see the, the waves, which were more explicable really as, um, you know, the imprint in the sand um, after the tide has gone out um, for this beautiful selection. I actually wore this uh, yesterday um, going out, um, this shade in particular and the green I've used a lot. Um, let's notice that last year or whenever this was, we got two little foam applicators. Uh, this year we're getting foam and a little brush, so I think that's probably progress, although I don't use the Chanel applicators um, very much. So we've swatched the um, kind of greeny grey that I got very excited about. Uh, I knew I'd get very excited about this brown. Again, that's quite warm for me, swatching beautifully. Um, so uh, you'll know that I'm not hugely attracted to matte eyeshadows although you know every youtube tutorial by the pros that i watch tells me i should be because i've got hooded eyes and aging eyes and matte shadows would be a lot more flattering but i just like something with a bit of um shimmer but i think you've got the best of both worlds here because plenty of pigmentation um very kind of smooth color but with you know that little bit of interest in the texture then this is a very interesting colour. I've been a convert to these reds. Uh, Lucia Pica, who um, is now in charge of Chanel's makeup, is a great 
fan of these kind of bricky red colours. She did it in that first um, palette. Uh, uh, was it Audace, Candace, Candace something or other? Um, which everyone kind of <gasps> had a sharp intake of breath when they saw it, but actually very flattering for a lot of people. This is quite a nice soft neutral red, if um, red can ever be neutral. And then you've got a nice white. Actually, that is swatching a good deal less well than any of the others, interestingly. But I like a white in my palette because um, I need that in the corner of the eye to um, lighten things up. That um, is by far the least well performing of the four though, interestingly. So as I say, um, I'm very impressed just swatching those. Uh, obviously I did swatch from the tester in the boutique, but um, this is the first swatch from my own palette. Um, so I'm quite excited to try that out. It's an interesting colour selection for a cruise collection because it's it doesn't immediately scream summer or holiday to me. Um, I can see it transitioning very well into autumn, put it that way. Um, but yeah, nice palette. I shall report back when I've had a chance to use it. Now you will also know that I'm a fan of the Stilo Yu. I can never resist them. There are three new colours. Um, I don't know if they're limited edition. I only got one. Um, the other two were very dark as well. Uh, this one was the brown kind of taupey one. And amazingly enough for me, this is Revelation. Uh, I haven't actually got that many browns in the Stilo year, so um, that was an easy choice to make. And you can see it's just um, a nicely nuanced, quite chestnutty, dark uh, brown there with a kind of purpley undertone. Uh, so that was a no-brainer. Um, I thought for a few minutes about this product, which is an unusual product. I suspect I'm going to be talking a bit more about this. Uh, this is the Low Tan and it's called um, the Refreshing Self-Tanning Body Mist. So uh, just to show you what it looks like, comes in a bottle um, so it just looks like a perfume, um, but it's kind of in a frosted bottle, which I've never seen from Chanel. It's quite highly fragranced. Not the typical Chanel um, slightly rose fragrance that we're all used to. Um, definitely a summery fragrance. And you're supposed to spray it all over and um, kind of smooth it. And it is a self-tanning. Now, I am very fair... Um, self-tanning often looks fairly orange on me. Um, I gave it a good old spritz yesterday, uh, including on the inner side of my um, forearm, which is very pale. I can just about see a, a slight change of colour here, but it's very subtle, to say the least. And not surprisingly, it's a bit patchy. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to work, really, because... Um, you know, it's a single, literally, kind of perfume spray. So you don't get um, a huge volume. And it's very difficult to control um, where the the liquid is going on. It's, it's just not very easy to spray evenly if um, it's effectively going to dye your skin, which is, you know, what self-tanning is all about. So... Um, it's expensive as well. I'm going to say it was 42 or 47 pounds, um, which is a lot for um, a self-tan. But I was just kind of so taken with the concept and it's so unlike Chanel that I had to have it and give it a go. Um, you know that I'm a collector of the nail polishes. Um, let's take a look at those. Again, unusual colour palette for summer or cruise. These are very spring-like to me. So you've got um, this kind of muted minty green. It's showing more green in the viewfinder. It's slightly grayer in real life. Uh, it reminded me straight away of one of Lu um, Lucia Pica's other releases fairly recently, which was Horizon Line, which I like very much and I've worn a lot. 
There they are in the bottle together. I'll probably do a swatch on another occasion. And you can see horizon line is definitely greyer as against the, the green um, of this one, which, uh, by the way, is called Légèreté, lightness. Then this one, which is probably my favourite um, at the moment, it's the only one I've worn, mind you, which is uh, Chicness. Uh, that's on my fingertips at the moment. One coat, so, uh, you know, Chanel is very good for non-pros. I've applied it myself. Uh, that immediately reminded me um, of an old favourite uh, from a few years ago, Tenderly, which was a spring release um, and uh, I like very much. You can see Tenderly is just that bit more violet undertoned, uh, looking a more marked difference in my viewfinder than in real life. These are very close, actually, in real life. Um, I did wonder about one of the Lucia Pica releases that went with Horizon Line, which was New Dawn, um, which kind of in my mind was similar, but as you can see, actually um, much greyer in real life. But it's obviously a, a palette that she's attracted to. And then there's a real kind of baby pink, which is Halo, a lot of people would like. I nearly put this on my toes, but opted for some orange yesterday. And I wonder how streaky that will turn out because I was quite disappointed with the spring one. Much, much lighter, uh, but doesn't apply too well um, from the spring collection. Um, the nearest, I've got loads of pinks that I could quickly find um they're very very close it was actually from last summer uh, this is sea whip which i did wear a lot um kind of corally pink this is a bit more barbie a bit pinker pink than orange pink but very similar so um probably this is kind of the most different from previous ones although green is a tough color for a lot of people to wear i think this probably is a sufficiently toned down green, not to make your nails look gangrenous <laughs> as uh, it can do with um, some people's skin tone, mine included, um, much as I like green and, and will just look sophisticated. So I'm excited to try that. As I say, if you loved Tenderly and ran out, you will definitely like this. Um, and you know, if you like Barbie pink, uh, there's something for you there. So the nail polishes are very pretty, but as I say, Slightly unusual colour palette for this time of year, but hey, you know, whatever goes any time of year. So I do think it's a lovely collection. There are a lot of lip products, um, especially those kind of lip pencils. I moved away very quickly. I'm, I'm on a lipstick ban because I have so many and I don't use them enough. Um, having said I'm on a lipstick ban, I won't tell you what I've just ordered uh, yesterday from Letta Porte, but you'll see it soon. Um, there's also a little highlighter cheek colour palette which in fact the boutique I went into didn't have um, again I didn't need another of those um, it, I think there might be a mascara I didn't even get to look at that I should have done um, so plenty to look at but I think the palette is the the eye palette is the star of the show and uh, if you like Chanel shadows even if you don't, this might be a good one to try because it, it definitely is different and, um, you know, it's worth buying quality when you're going for that unusual colour combination, I think. Anyway, I'll um, speak to you soon and tell you how I get on with them when I've had a chance to use them. It may take a little while because I don't think that's a particularly work-appropriate palette. Um, it's going to be for a dramatic evening out and uh, talk more a bit about the low tan. I'd be very interested if anyone else has used you know, anyone else has fallen for the marketing and bought um, the self-tanning and uh, if so, you know, what your experiences are. So until next time, um, please like this video, thumbs up if you have enjoyed it because uh, I'm definitely losing out on my demographics at the moment and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.